sitting here with the amazing Allison Hayslip. What's going Nailed on? Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed I had to really it. practice it Nailed for a while. It. You, you know, I'm very proud of myself for this amazing <laughs> moment. Allison, great yeah. to have you here. Thanks. Um, you were rocking That's this awesome. brand new the podcast called The Half Hour Happy Hour. Tell us about it. Yes. Well, The Half Hour Happy Hour with Allison and Alex is a podcast I do with my co-host, Alex Albrecht. For about 30 minutes every week, we get together, have a drink, and talk about really random things we found on the internet. Um, and it's something we started just for our own enjoyment, and then we just recently got picked up by Nerdist, and now we're under their umbrella. So it's it's fun to see where this thing that we started as our own little pet project grew into, and we have thousands of listeners, and please subscribe to us on iTunes if you can. Thank you. Great. Well, awesome. Let's oh, no. talk about something first uh, that happened uh, this past week. Okay. Finally, Marvel Comics released Secret Wars number nine, which kind of wraps up the Secret Wars <laughs> story. They kind of... Uh, wrote the Fantastic Four out of the Marvel Universe. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> uh, do, do you think that's fair to the Fantastic Four? Do you like that I resolution? Mean, I feel like Marvel was like, okay, you know what, Fox? If you're not going to let us do these movies right, <laughs> we're not going to give you any more storylines to screw up. I mean, <laughs> after this past movie, I didn't even see the last movie because so many people were like, it's not even bad enough to go enjoy it. It's like just bad. My eight-year-old said, Fantastic Four comes out on Blu-ray and DVD and digital on Tuesday. This was obviously, you know, a couple a month ago or so. And I yeah. said, yeah, that's interesting. We, yeah. We're not getting it. No way. Yeah. It's like, yeah, they had the other two Fantastic Four films that were sort of like, you know, yeah. funny, ha-ha, weirdo films. I, I, I can't watch those. Well, because they were made prior to superhero films sure. really becoming films. Yeah. You know, they were still popcorn, like, whatever, we yeah. just want to see people fly around and blow things up, right. and then finally... Here, you put on this outfit. Yeah, uh, and then finally yeah. studios were like, oh, we could actually make these proper movies, and right. maybe people would like them even more. And so, you can kind of... Those first two Fantastic yeah. Four films, I get that they, they fall in that category, but not anymore. You get yeah. Michael B. Jordan in your movie, yeah. you, it should be good. You got There's the, no the reason for it to be the good. The Whiplash dude is playing yeah. Mr. Fantastic. Is it? Yeah. Give him nothing. Yeah. Don't give him really anything to do, but kind of walk around and stuff. I know. Yeah. I do say that's, I know we're kind of also in Star Wars here, but I do feel like that was one of, um, I, I loved uh, The Force Awakens. But when you have an actor like Oscar Isaac, I feel like he's got to do more than be really good at flying a plane. <laughs> like, I don't feel like they embraced him enough in this movie, and I'm hoping we get to see more of it. And him. yet women have, like, absolutely fallen in love with him with, the, with so the, the Oscar Isaac bed pillow. Did you see Look. that? No, the full -length what? That's pillow? a thing? It's a, oh it's a thing, a full-length Oscar Isaac pillow. Where do I get to? I like <laughs> seeing Oscar it Isaac. He, did, he had some other scenes. He got tortured by Kylo Ren. Come that on. was the best there was a, scene, actually. He got to right. fly, you know, that break it out. Spoilers, everybody. If you haven't seen Star Wars, we're talking about it. These are scenes. Yeah. I'm, don't try to silence me. It. It's too late. <coughs> when I saw the movie the second time, that was actually the scene where he's getting tortured, was the scene where I was going, God, I can't imagine shooting that scene, because when you're just acting, being like, yeah, right. Like, how do you not feel weird? Right. Yeah. But, you know, there was the, the whole, the, the sort of the, the mirror scene with uh, Kylo and Rey, yeah. where there was an extended no dialogue scene. Yes. And I remember watching it the first time and the second time, thinking, wow, they are really actually nailing it. And this is really well directed. The yeah. actors are totally committed to it. And you could see the dialogue in the battle. And I thought that was fantastic. And that's kind of what cinema's all yep. about. I gotta yep. say, the fifth time seeing it, you basically <laughs> enter their minds. That's what I, I just went, I floated through their minds.